Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking back at a very iconic candy that had mega success in the 2000s. So today, sit back as we look back at Baby Bottle Pops. It's Baby Bottle Pop. It's a Baby Bottle Pop. Just lick the pop, dip it and shake it. And lick it again. It's a Baby Bottle Pop. Baby Bottle Pop. Baby Bottle Pops. The candy pop you lick and dip. Baby Bottle Pops were first introduced in 1998 by the Tops Company. There's not really one name or persona behind it, so we can assume it was probably just an idea brought up in some meeting. The product had a very, uh, unique shape to say the least, and reinvented the classic Wickham and Stickham style of candies. While it had a silly design, it was actually very useful, because as the slogan says, you can lick it and stick it in your pocket. It was one of the first types of candies that was meant to be carried with you places. Especially with this type of candy, you can't exactly eat half of your fun dip and put it in your pocket. It would be gross and messy. And while still being a very sugary candy, it encouraged kids to not have a lot at once. Just one could last you days if you wanted. Safe to say they took off, and that jingle sure did help. Even I remember singing it as a kid all the time. The company only had the one product which was available in a couple of flavors, but in 2001, something amazing happened. I was born. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. In 2001, they released their 2D Max version of the candy, which had all the same elements as the original, but it added another compartment on the bottle for a crunchy candy as well as the normal sugary powdery one, which then prompted them to just release the crunch version by itself as well. They went pretty steady for a while, with some slight variations to the jingle, but in 2008, the jingle was recorded by the Jonas Brothers, which just made it that much better. And, because of them being the Jonas Brothers, the candy was automatically associated with Nickelodeon and Disney consumers, creating a very large crossover market. 2008 was also the same year they came out with their own online game. You could buy baby bottle pops and put the code on the bottle onto the website and gain points and items. It was basically a Club Penguin style online virtual game for kids. Now let's talk about the products and flavors they had. Starting with the original 6, we have Blue Raspberry, Watermelon Blast, Strawberry Berry Blast, Tropical Punch, and Rainbow Sherbet. They've also added Cherry Watermelon, Fruit Punch, Unicorn Glitter Berry, and Cosmic Strawberry Lemonade. For the 2D Maxes, we have Blue Raspberry Watermelon, Strawberry Watermelon, Strawberry Overload, and Berry Bonanza. They have Blue Raspberry, Strawberry, and Watermelon flavors of their Popping Powder line, which gives the candy a Pop Rocks-like effect. And of course, they have Baby Bottle Candy Canes, because of course. They also had a liquid version of the candy at some point called Baby Bottle Pop Candy Juice. I assume they came in the original flavors based on this commercial, but not much is known about it. When it comes to these kinds of products, it's hard to get any backstory or find any type of research on it because it was probably just made by a large company where all they care about is pushing out a product. Usually the only way to get that kind of info is trying to find somebody who used to work there because as we've learned from Hot Cheetos, you can't really just trust the company when they tell you a story. Even with things like Grand Theft Auto, Rockstar doesn't like developers talking about how the games were made. It's kind of weird. But that's about all we have for Baby Bottle Pops. They're still around, but all the silly campaign ads they were once committed to have now vanished, and it's just a standard in the store. We can always reminisce on the old commercials though, and that feeling it gave us eating one as a kid, or an adult, I don't judge. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're interested, and hey, maybe even possibly like the video and share it with a friend or on Reddit or something. Uh, and that's it. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.